17. If you remember my All This and Wolf 3D walkthrough, if you remember watching Floor 68, that really eerie, misty looking floor with all the ghosts, barely any enemies at all. That's what this floor kind of reminds me of, except I think this floor is a little more complicated than that floor. Um, which, of course, what's easier about that floor is the fact that the ghosts don't come back to life once you kill them. In this game, though, the, the ghosts we come across here you can't kill them. They, you just temporarily you know, stop them and then they'll come back to life. 
And also what's kind of weird about this map too is sometimes, not all the time, there's a couple spots in this map where the ghost actually opened the doors and came through. And so you just never knew where, knew like who was going to come up or how many more were going to come up on you. So that's a little bit of a strange part about this map. And it also is a little more like tighter and, and impacted. It's hard to avoid at times, especially in that confusing maze where you have to find all the treasure. You can walk around any corner. There can be a ghost standing right there and you can just walk right in and he'll just drain the heck out of you. But the main thing that's tough about this map, though, is probably the secrets, I'd say. There are a lot of secrets, but as long as you, you know, practice it and know where they are, you should be fine. Um, of course, we have the Uber Mutant at the end, but he's not too difficult to kill, since most of, like, these, like, prototype bosses seem to be weaker in this game, in my honest opinion. But, yeah, wow, we made it through floor 17. We have just two boss battles staying between the end and now. So, let's move on to the first one. War 18, where we battle the Totem Mutant. Until then, guys, I am the Club of the Man, 1993. Let's finish this game strong.